Hey, glad you could join me. We're up at Manitoulin Island, and uh, we're doing a little scouting before the Derby. It's a two-day tournament with over $50,000 in prizes, and hopefully they'll catch some fish just like this baby right here. Wow. That is a fish of a lifetime. There we go, boy. Wow, we That thing is a monster. They fight hard, don't they? Look at that magnificent fish. Look at the size of that fish. There he is again. The color is incredible. Oh, there we go. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Big old Great Lakes smallmouth. That is a big rainbow trout, Chris. Nice double header. Oh, <laughs> nice jump. Yeah. All right, that is a monster smallmouth. Man, that is so cool. Another one, there we go. The biggest pike I've ever caught. Look at that chunk. So that's what we're talking about. Real fishing is sponsored by Mercury. Go boldly. Berkeley, catch more fish. And Abu Garcia for life. On the Real Fishing Show, we make catching fish like this a possibility. Whoa, well, boys and girls, I'm hooked up here. Uh, we just, you know, set up this morning and uh, I'll tell you what, this rainbow is thumping. It's gotta be a rainbow. I mean, that's what we're fishing for this morning. And uh, my brother Wayne is just out helping Luke set up his, uh, his ice hut over there. It's early. We still got some pretty good low light. It's like seven in the morning. Feels like a good one. I don't want to pull the hook. And uh, you know, there's some big, big rainbow trout up here around Manitoulin Island. We're fishing the big waters here. And I've got a little Johnson shutter spoon on and uh, put on a little gold one. And this thing is thumping away. And it's funny. I'm going to catch this fish hopefully. And Wayne's not even going to know because he is over. Oh, he's on his way. He's on his way here. Oh, she's a runner. Okay. Come on in, shut the door. Watch line. Okay. So, uh, did you get Luke set up over there? Yeah, I helped him with this. And you got one on while I was gone, eh? Yeah, I had on here for, for a bit here. Oh, I see some bubbles. I'm gonna take mine out of there. Okay. Anyway. And uh, oh yeah, you gonna get you gonna reach? Yeah. This looks like no. a good one. Looks like a big one. I can't get my hand in. Oh yeah, nice. Look at this fatty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at, Look that at the thing. beautiful rainbow color on that. Thing. Wow. This is what they're talking about. Look at that thing is heavy. Like, wow. Look what at, what is that? There's the little six. The little shutter spoon, little gold shutter spoon right there. Wow. And uh, I got some pliers right here. I got some kudas. Pop this out. Pull that spoon right. Yeah, here Your hand nice and cold? Yeah, very cold. <laughs> Look at this thing. Well, pinned right in the top, hey? Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Let me just wash it off. Awesome. Whew. And that is what? Some of these folks fishing the Derby are going to be looking for this weekend are some of these fat rainbow trout. Aren't they fat? Unbelievable. Look at the profile on that thing. Wow. Now, we're going to be doing uh, some culinary. Uh, they're going to show us some culinary stuff up here. Uh, uh, treat us to some trout. So maybe yeah, we'll keep this keep one. Keep the one. That's right. Let's keep this one, and yeah. that'll be the... All right, well, we'll get a few photos and ice this puppy down, and uh, what can I say? Life is good up here on Manitoulin Island. You know, this tournament wouldn't be if it wasn't for Luke Wasagishik. And uh, Luke, you're with the tourism? I'm the tourism manager for Waquamecon Tourism. All righty, well, I'll tell you, you started this derby how many years ago? We're going on our 12th year. And uh, some of these babies are gonna definitely be caught during the next few days. That's the type of quality fish we have here on the island. How was that for your first Manitoulin bow? Well, it shows you how cold it is. I just caught this a few minutes ago and it was awesome. <laughs> it's starting to freeze up. We're gonna keep this uh, to cook up, but uh, 
What's exciting is the whole community is involved. A lot of volunteers, even the lady in the grocery store last night said, I'll see you out there. And uh, she was all excited. And then in the restaurant last night, they were talking about it. We're talking lots of fun, lots of people, lots of fish, lots of prizes. Thank you, sir. My hands are slimed up. Right on. In a good way. Fish on. <laughs> Coming up. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury. Go boldly. If you're looking for the very best in Great Lakes steelhead, the autumn runs are hard to beat. On arrival, they're in prime condition, full, bright, and powerful. Though regulations limit places to be fished, you can stretch it well past freeze up. In spite of all this, spring steelheading remains part of a long standing tradition. After opening day, spawning is generally completed. Showing a few nicks, dents, and other war wounds, these dropbacks are hungry and ready for action. Roe is the number one choice for every angler out there. In short order, steelhead learn to avoid this bait, even if you wave it in their face. Well-prepared steelheaders carry an arsenal of alternative baits. Crazy row imitations are first up and usually draw a fish or two. Then it's time for worms, real or otherwise. Small, hot pink imitations are particularly deadly. They're no big secret, though some are much more effective than others. With the right stuff, it's a matter of scent and taste. They take it and eat it. During underwater filming, we experiment with many different products. We discovered that Steelhead are crazy about Berkeley's Atomic Teaser. Designed mainly for panfish, the various color patterns all produce. With a bouncing action, we provoked countless spring Steelhead into an aggravated bite. Hey, we're having so much fun here on Manitoulin Island and I'm at the Rainbow Ridge Golf Course. It's the only 18 hole golf course on the island and we're going to see what the head chef as well as the general manager, John Dubay, is cooking tonight. Should be lots of fun, can't wait. Hey guys, my name is uh, John Dubay from Rainbow Ridge Golf Course. Fish goes really good with any type of citrus fruit. So when we look at citrus fruit, we can use that limes, lemons, oranges, even grapefruit, any of those types of things. And uh, what I do is like to place it at the bottom so we have laid on top of the fish. So I'm just gonna use a nice generous amount of citrus, just a variety of it. Um, we have a fresh cut of uh, filet of rainbow trout that we got today. And all we're gonna do is place that right on the plank, like so, right on top of the fruit. And once you put place the, uh, the rainbow trout onto the fruit, uh, we do add some of our maple syrup. Maple syrup is one of our staple indigenous foods that we have on the island. So I'm just gonna generously pour some on there. Um, on top, what I like to usually do is a little bit of a barbecue uh, smoke seasoning. So I just use a little bit of that, sprinkle on top. Again, it's just a little bit more of a rub right onto the fish. Some of the vegetables too. You can put whatever you want on there. Sometimes I put peppers, sometimes I put carrots, tomatoes. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of onion on it for, for today. You can either put this in an oven at about 350 degrees, or you can use a barbecue um, in the summertime if you want to barbecue. And guys, after 15 to 20 minutes in the oven at about 350, this is your maple cedar plank rainbow trout. Just make sure. Mm -hmm. We were invited to a sponsor appreciation dinner at the golf course prior to the derby. Neil Dabosky, host of the TV series Fuel the Fire, who's been a supporter of this event since the beginning, was also in attendance. It was so nice that Chief Duke Peltier of Wick Webacong welcomed us into their wonderful community. What can I say? It was a great time had by all. Hey, I'm here with Luke, and of course, he's the organizer of the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. And Luke, there's some pretty incredible prizes. I hear there's like $50,000 in prizes for this tournament. Over $50,000 in prizes, two lake, top 10 on, on both lakes. So yeah, it's, it's really exciting, a lot of prizes. Yeah, so you got a breakdown of uh, cash prizes. There's what, a $10,000 snowmobile? There's a, there's a registration draw for a snowmobile. There's top 10 on two lakes. Uh, the target weight contest, $2,500 each day right. for the target weight. And then the signature contest of the event, the Pim Tut Big Trout Contest for the total weight over the course of the weekend with, for a prize worth over $7,000. And it's, uh, it's a pretty decked out ice fishing hut. Everything you need to ice fish and more. 
Wow, and that is uh, for the weight of two fish over the weekend. Two trout over the course of the weekend. Oh, and so what about if somebody catches one giant trout that weighs more than two medium well, trout? Well, you know what? The way things have been going this winter, it's not going to be uncommon, I don't think, to see a 20-pound fish, and that definitely can win. What is amazing of the fisheries here, you know, both on the big water and Lake Manitou, is the fact that somebody could catch a, a you know, like a 15 or 20 pound plus rainbow trout or a big lake trout, right? Yeah, that's, that's very much a possibility. Very cool. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the biggest ice fishing tournament I've ever been to, and uh, it's going to be exciting to see what all of the folks catch out there. Buzzwa Fisheries is a rainbow trout aquaculture site located in Manitowanin Bay. Owner Ben Kanasaway is a big supporter of the ice showdown. One of the cool aspects of this derby is that 50 rainbows were tagged and released prior to the fishing days. And the first angler each day to catch one of these tagged fish would win $2,500. Coming up. Look at this baby. Has it been weighed in yet, Luke? It's been weighed in, registered at 12.04 pounds. There are a number of motels, hotels, camps, and lodges on Manitoulin Island. My crew and myself were fortunate enough to stay at the Manitoulin Hotel and Conference Center in Little Current. This incredible facility was inspired by the beauty and history of the First Nations people of the Manitoulin Island region. We did a meet and greet event, including live entertainment on the Saturday night. Now let's head out to the hard water for the first day. All right, is this the official? This is the official, we're opening up. It's uh, game on. It is game on, fish on. Get those rods and baits going to action now. Sophie's here at the, Mani at the Manitowning Bay at the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. Lines went down for, I don't know. 8 a.m., not very long it's like ago. five minutes, what time is it? It's uh, exactly 8.10. 8.10, so she caught that five minutes in. Uh, no tag though. Uh, all right, and hey, Luke, is there a prize for the first fish? This happened like within five minutes to start. Well, you know what? This might be a contender for the top 10. Oh, it's a fatty. Well, it let's get away. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Well, Paxton Holmes has caught the first fish of the day, at least at this station anyway, at 5.89 pounds, a pretty good size, uh, quite a robust rainbow trout. Three which? Three point three eight. Let's see this fish out here. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thanks. Four point six six pounds. Yeah. And what's your name? Carly. Carly, congratulations. Nice Thanks. job. Okay, well, we just came across another fellow that's got one that he weighed in. And what's your name? My name's Todd. Todd, what did it weigh? 5.6 pounds. 5.6 pounds, pretty nice looking fish. Looks like a male, uh, pretty good one. Uh, now we came over, uh, what's the name of this town right here? Uh, Manitowabe. Okay, well, that's where we are right now. We're in Manitowabe <laughs> Bay. Yeah, we came across the bay. We've been to a few of the weigh-in stations and uh, We've seen quite a few fish weighed in, so uh, that one's pretty good, though. Fabulous. Got some nice colors. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Just weighed this in at 1308. 
For the moment, I'm in the lead. Well, we're down at the foot of the bay, and I didn't know, but pike also can count in the top 10. And uh, a nice one, how many pounds? 10.22. Uh, 10.22, and what's your name? Uh, Dave. Very nice, congratulations, Thanks. Dave. Well, wouldn't you know it, you know, you come across old tournament buddies out here at the uh, Ice Showdown. Greg Gilson caught, you caught yourself a tag fish. First tag fish of the day. Well, look at this. This little tag right here is uh, cha-ching, cha-ching. Uh, I think there's a $2,500 price tag on that. The bounty. I witnessed some of the tagging yesterday. Um, it had to have traveled probably, I'm going to, this is only a guess, but I'm going to say one, two, three, four, maybe six, seven miles already. Look at this baby. Has it been weighed in yet, Lou? It's been weighed in, registered at 12.04 pounds. Wow, 12.04 pounds. And what's your name? I'm Noah. Noah, you caught it? Yeah. Good job, man. Congratulations. Awesome. We're here at the Manitoulin Ice Showdown with Chef Joe Shauna. And he's a traditional uh, food chef here from Wequemecon, Ontario. And we're going to prepare, or he's going to prepare, uh, Bob's fish that he caught. We're going to take a look at how Joe uh, prepares his fish. Yeah. All right. See, there's one of our many sacred medicines that we use. Top slowly like this. So there's that piece there. So what we're trying to do is just get a little bit of the smoke flavor to it. I'm just going to quickly pan through the trout in here, and then just for more flavor, I got some apple, some shallots, and a little bit of leeks. A little bit more sumac into the fish. Since us indigenous people didn't have a lot of citrus up here, we utilize as much of the local ingredients as possible. Yeah, so we got a sauteed uh, Manitoulin Island wild rice with a little bit of leeks, uh, fresh, like Kwamakong Bay uh, rainbow trout, acorn roasted acorn squash that we've roasted in the fire, and roasted sweet potatoes that we also roasted in the fire. So everything on this plate is indigenous to North America as possible. Right on. Yeah. Whoa, 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 here, hang on there, Bob. Wait, Let wait, me just, wait. I'm gonna show you something. There's a specific way you have to, uh, here, oh, I'll just take wait, this for Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, now, whoa, whoa. You never take the uh, food from a, you know, a guy with a bigger belly than you. <laughs> we're gonna try this fish out, folks. This looks absolutely delicious. And you know what's interesting is the sumac piece. I really wanna, wanna taste what that. Well, if you hold it, I'll help you eat it. I'll try some of the rice first. Man, that is actually fantastic. Mm. Here. I you eat the rice, I'll eat the... Uh... No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Let me try the fish. Is this sort of like breaking bread together? Uh -huh. so, I think we're on to something here. Coming up. Got him. Look at that. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got set up here on Lake Manitou. It's day two of the Manitou and Nice Showdown, and uh, I'm kind of bundled up, but it's actually a nice morning. Um, and uh, we're hooked up. What's your name? Matt. Matt. Matt Ellis. Yeah. Matt Ellis. Ellis. Yeah. Matt Ellis is hooked up. We literally parked the snow bear like five minutes ago, and uh, life is good out here on uh, the ice on Lake Manitou. We'll see what we got. Either it's a small fish with a big attitude or a big fish with a big attitude. We're not sure yet. Let's see what happens. This is uh, this is exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Feel heavier than anything you caught Yeah, today, definitely, Matt? yeah. That's How many fish did you catch yesterday? Uh, about 13, 14 fish. All lake trout? All lake trout, So yeah. 13 or 14 fish, all lakers yesterday, which is a lot of fish. Um, 
And what was your biggest yesterday? Uh, about four pounds. About four pounds. Yeah. Not a lot of ice this winter. Yeah, it's such a mild winter. Here we go. I got him. I got him. Yeah. I'm on him. Oh, nice yeah. one. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> Beauty. That is a good there you fish go, buddy. right there. White tube, Jay. White tube, classic. Yeah. All righty. There you go. Very cool. We got to get this go. baby in and get weighed in, yes, right? Sir. Yeah. Nice fish. Now, the closest weigh-in station is how many miles away or kilometers? About five miles. About five, five miles yeah. away. Yeah. So that fish there is definitely a good one to weigh in. That's got another nice one on. I have witnessed uh, him catch two a big lake trout already this morning, and it's still early today. Pretty amazing. Oh, awesome. got him. Look at that <laughs> beauty! <laughs> at least I'm getting better at landing them for you. Eh? You are. You're a, you're a good guy, you know. Yeah. You, he's your he's your net man. <laughs> Guy's a fishing machine. <laughs> Come on out. Oh, that was good. All right, we have one to weigh in, guys. So. We just happened to be by Matt when he caught this big fish out in the middle of, uh, middle of Lake Manitou. So uh, let's get a weight on this one. So it's I'm an Uber driver today. Bob Uber Azumi. <laughs> Everybody's got a nickname, right? We're starting to call it the Snow Bob. Yeah. Snow Bob. So I've got about six nicknames this uh, trip. <laughs> All right. 8.5. Nice job, brother. Thank you, thank you. All right, nah, nice slimy knuckle. <laughs> the Manitoulin Ice Showdown is a well-organized, awesome fishing event. There was a record attendance of over 700 participants at this year's 2020 Derby. Part of the festivities is a dinner for all of the contestants. Buzzwa Fisheries donated the tasty rainbow trout. There were plenty of winners in the showdown, both on Manitowoning Bay and Lake Manitou. It was so neat seeing the variety of fish caught and weighed in. Personally, I can't wait to get back to Manitoul and to do some more real fishing. <laughs> See you next week. Real Fishing was sponsored by Mercury, Go Boldly, Berkeley, Catch More Fish, and Abu Garcia for life. Well, that thing's got some weight to it. <laughs> Size that puppy right there. That is that is just wild. Man. Beautiful, beautiful. Look, Look at the size of that thing.